Hi friends, I'm Felicia and I'm so glad that you're here with me today. We are going to do an activity from Molly of Denali. Molly of Denali is a PBS kids show that is set in a fictional village called Kaya in Alaska. And the star of that show, Molly, she and her family happen to be Gawichin Koyukan Denatene. These groups represent some of the native Alaska tribes. Alaska natives are people who are indigenous or originally from Alaska. Molly also has two best friends in the show, Tui and Trini, and don't forget her dog Suki. Molly and her family believe in Alaska native values. They're very important to them. Today we're going to celebrate the Alaska native value of honor your elders. They show you the way in life. Elders are people like grandmothers and grandfathers and other older people in your community. They help us learn about and pass down the traditions that are in our family. There are other Alaska Native values too that we should learn about. There are nine of them. And the first one, showing respect to others because each person has a gift. The second one is sharing what you have because giving makes you richer. The third is knowing who you are. You are an extension of your family. Four, accepting what life brings. You cannot control many things. Five, having patience. Sometimes things cannot be rushed. Six, living carefully. Your actions have consequences. Seven, taking care of others. You cannot live without them. Eight, the one we're talking about today, honoring your elders. They show you the way in life. And nine, seeing connections because all things are related. A tradition passed down in Molly's family is the sharing of special recipes. And today we're going to be making a recipe. You know, I was thinking, and in my family we have a traditional recipe too. It's a recipe for rice pudding. It's one that I learned from my grandmother. It's delicious. And I'm sure to be passing that one down to my children as well so that they can make it. Today we are going to be making a recipe for trail mix. Usually trail mix has some items that are crunchy, some items that are sweet, and some items that are salty, and then you mix them all together. So you're gonna have a chance to be really creative with this. You're going to need some materials to get this done. You're going to need a bowl, a spoon, or a bag, and then you're going to need some crunchy ingredients. Crunchy ingredients can be things like cereal and nuts. Uh, we'll need some sweet ingredients too, and those can be dried fruit, or maybe something like chocolate chips or marshmallows would be good too. And don't forget the salty ingredient, something like um, popcorn or pretzels or goldfish crackers. Take a look around your house for the materials that you're going to need for the activity today. You can pause the video, take a look around and gather your materials, and then come back for the instructions. Hi, welcome back. We're gonna be following a recipe today, and recipes are informational text. Isn't that a really cool word? Molly uses informational text a lot when she is reading a map or when she's following instructions to build something or when she's following a recipe to make something. I have my directions right here for the recipe and that's what I'm going to be using. The first thing that we're going to need to do is we're gonna to need to clean our hands. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some of this hand sanitizer for right now, but if I were home, I definitely would be using warm water and soap, and I'd probably be singing one of my favorite songs at least twice through while I made sure my hands were clean and then dried them. The first thing, now that I've cleaned my hands, is that I'm going to use a baggie for mine. You can use a bowl and then use a spoon. Right now, I'm just going to use my baggie. That way I can take it with me later when I'm all done. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my crunchy, salty, and sweet ingredients and I'm gonna add them to the bag. So I'm gonna have some of my sweet cereal, maybe a little more sweet cereal, whoops. And I'm going to include, oh, I have a wide variety here, all mixed up of these awesome goldfish crackers. So I'm gonna add a couple of scoops of those. Oh yeah, there's another big one. And I'm gonna add some sunflower seeds that will be nice and crunchy and healthy in there too. And I'm going to add some dried cranberries. You could use raisins or dried blueberries or any other kind of dried fruit too. 
that would be nice and sweet. All right. Now, if you're making it in a bowl, go ahead and stir the ingredients in the bowl together. And if you make it in a baggie, make sure you seal your bag and you shake it all up. Doesn't that look great? Of course, the last direction is be sure to enjoy your trail mix. I can see all those goldfish, I can see my sweet and my crunchy, and I can see my dried cranberries. I can't wait to eat this. Can you show me your trail mix? I would love to see it. What do you have in yours? Wow, that looks really delicious. You're gonna love that. I hope that your trail mix becomes a new family tradition for you. I can't wait to enjoy my trail mix. And while I'm enjoying my trail mix, I'm also going to enjoy a great book, Molly of Denali. This one is Little Dog Lost. I think it'll be great to read that and enjoy my trail mix at the same time. For more fun with Molly, be sure to visit pbskids.org slash Molly. You can also visit pbslearningmedia.org and look up Molly of Denali. You'll be able to find great games, videos, and printables there for you to have fun with. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had a lot of fun making your trail mix. I know I did. I can't wait to see you next time. Enjoy.